Hi guys, uh, my name's Mike. I'm an adoptive dad of two children. Uh, my wife and I adopted our now six and seven year olds, uh, son and daughter through Adoption Matters. Um, oh crikey, like three and a half years ago. Um, whoever told you that time flies, they weren't, weren't kidding you, it really does. Um, I've been asked by Adoption Matters in the lead up to Christmas, I suppose, just to really share a, and it, you know, my most important tip of how to handle Christmas with your, with your children. Um, of course, we associate Christmas with being really exciting, um, you know, but, but for young children who've come from perhaps traumatic or, or difficult backgrounds, especially when it's new to them, it can be a very worrying and, and, and anxious time of year. Um, so the main thing we really did as, you know, as, as man and wife to sort of help our kids get used to Christmas in our house. Um, what we did, which was really important, was we actually set a routine up around Christmas Day and, and not only just setting up a, you know, almost an itinerary of what we're going to do on Christmas Day and the times that we're going to do it. What we also did as well is we also rehearsed that routine in the lead up to the day. So I don't know, like perhaps start of December time, every breakfast time, we'd sit with our kids around the breakfast table and just run through each time slot. So get up, whenever you get up, hopefully not crack of dawn, open your presents, then we'll go and have some breakfast, then we'll maybe come back and play with the toys, then we'll maybe put on a Christmas film and have some lunch. So the kids then know exactly what's coming and they're well rehearsed around that as well. We found that really helped, um, especially now looking back, because we're just about to embark on our fourth Christmas with, with our two, um, and it's paid dividends. You know, they feel just really only positive things about Christmas now. There's no... You know, there's, there's no signs of any lingering worries around the day at all um, from their side. And, and that really is the main thing. I know it's going to be tempting to go out there and, you know, invite all the family around, get your parents around, grandparents, uh, have an exciting day. But we feel it really benefited us just setting the tone, having the Christmas day here with the four of us um, from there and keeping that safe environment for them as well. So they know what Christmas day looks like and they've got nothing to fear about it at all. They can just concentrate on putting that mince pie out for Santa at half six on, on Christmas Eve, getting to bed and then, you know, waking up all excited the next day and waking daddy up at half five when i am uh, got one eye open. Um, thanks, guys. That really is the main thing I'd sort of say. Have a wonderful Christmas and I'm really sorry about the moustache, by the way. It is November in our office, so I, I don't normally look like this. But um, yeah, have a great day. Enjoy it with all your families and uh, yeah, see you on the other side.